Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In Simu, a Wii U emulator, there has been a long-standing group of people responsible for and dedicated to the development and maintenance of graphic packs. The packs have allowed us to change in-game resolutions, fix graphical glitches and enhance visuals far beyond what a given title was intended for. We're able to manipulate a multitude of Wii U titles to suit our own personal taste. One of the most prominent graphic packs is Clarity, a visual enhancer for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It gave us more contrast, saturation, depth, sharpness and ultimately allowed the user to experience the game in a way which they want with a negligible hit on performance. The main name behind Clarity is Jamie with the help of Kitty, Crementif and Serfrost. If you'd like to learn more about the history of Clarity, I've covered it many times through its different iterations and improvements. Certain users like Jamie have taken a bit of a back seat these days, leaving an opportunity for others to take the wheel. Crementif has come up with an unbelievably simple way for us to edit the palette of Breath of the Wild in real time whilst in game. An exciting achievement showing us what is theoretically possible in any title given the right individual's dedication and motivation. Typically, adjustments to any graphic pack requires an emulator restart, but not in this instance. For now, his tool only applies to the Clarity graphic pack and Breath of the Wild. It's designed for users to be able to choose colours which they prefer quickly and easily, or for those who want to dive deeper, they can edit a preset of their own personal liking by adjusting the many possible settings in Clarity. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, download the latest graphic packs. Open the zip using a program of your choice, whether it be WinZip, WinRAR or 7-Zip. Place the Breath of the Wild files in the Graphic Packs folder. Open Crementis Clarity Preview Tool and extract the OpenGL32.dll into your CMU root folder. Next, we're going to select the Graphic Packs we want by opening CMU and selecting Options, Graphic Packs and ticking the ones we want to be active. Of course, focusing on Clarity as a must here. This will only work with separable shaders, not conventional, so make sure that it's enabled in Options and Experimental. Remember, all of this is done before we boot the game and it won't cause any negative effects for those concerned. The preview file can be easily removed if desired. Now we load Breath of the Wild. The Clarity text file will automatically open which is expected and normal. Once loaded into your game save, we are ready to have fun. Remember, there are no guarantees to the success of the tool, however, I haven't personally had any issues. If you find yourself with a black screen, then you potentially made an incorrect edit, but you can't cause any damage, so don't worry about it. Once in-game, we are now free to edit in real time. Let's start with the most basic edit of the ready-made presets. Where it says define preset followed by a number is how we select a preset. Type in a number between 0 to 9, then click save and watch the visuals on screen change. Every change you make in the document requires a save to see the edit. 0 is a blank slate and user definable and also where you'll build your own preset should you so choose. 1 is Bruz, 2 BSOD, 3 Jamie, 4 Contrasty, 5 Serfrost, 6 Sharpen Only, 7 The Complaining Gamer, 8 Filmic and 9 Cell Hunter. Remember, when searching for something you like, make sure you explore day, night, sand and snow. Clarity itself is nothing new, however, the ability to edit in real time definitely is and shows us what can be done in Simu. When creating your own preset, set the define preset to 0, then we'll edit only between the two long rows of hashtags at the top and the bottom. This is the point at which I want you to have fun. So let's go to zero and we're going to click save. So now we have the neutral palette of the game. And what we're going to do is edit between these two huge lines of hashtags. Below that are the presets and we do not edit anything under those. So I'm not going to touch on this too much in depth because ultimately I want you to have fun with this. But let me show you some of the basics and for the most part, the team have, got, have done a pretty good job explaining uh, what each area does. But let me just help you through getting into it for a start. So as you can see here, we have Define Adjust Bloom 1. 
uh, zero is disabled, one is enabled. So here, as you can see, it's enabled. But if we do zero and then we click save, we should see some kind of change. Okay, so we had a change to the bloom. And of course, below that, we then have the individual settings within that. So for example, uh, the line says, default is 0 0.020, rough estimate based on the switch. So theoretically, it's currently turned on. You can change this number to whatever you want. Um, but I probably wouldn't go too crazy with some of these numbers. So for example, let's say we go five. What happens? Okay, as you can see, <laughs> It's gone way too far. So that would be just a, you know, a very quick control Z, save it again. So of course, if you ever make extreme changes, you can just file, save, or if you go too far, then you can literally just reinstall Clarity and start again. Like I say, this is ultimately just for fun. So if we go down again, it's the same idea. Define HDR passing. So as we can see, zero is off. So let's turn it on and see the effect. So one is on, file, save. Okay, so we have this nice little effect going on here. And once again, values that pertain to that specific adjustment, that setting. So let's turn that off again and continue down. Okay, so moving on, we have Define, Luma, Passing and Advanced Sharpening Settings. I'm just going to pass over them to the Tone Maps. So like I say, each different setting does have a brief description with the maximum minimum settings that you can use. Okay, so let's take a look at the Define Tone Map. We have from minus one to nine with the descriptions of which one they represent. But it's more fun to just input the settings anyway. So minus one and then save. Okay, a little change there. Let's try one. Okay, so we're seeing some slight changes here. Okay, so this is where the time to play comes in and your job is to just spend some time messing around with it. So of course zero is off. Now, the same goes for any other process that follows the list. You can basically turn it on or off with zero and one, and then you can make the adjustments to each of the settings. I encourage you to go down the list and just have fun. Ultimately, you can't damage anything. If you get into too much of a mess, just delete the clarity pack and throw it back in the file, a brand new fresh version. Filmic pass, let's turn that on. Let's see what we get with the filmic pass. <laughs> quite an extreme effect so anyway like i say go crazy have fun mess around with all the settings and let me know what you come up with see what you create for those of you who just want to keep it simple and you're not interested in diving into all the different settings of course you can just stick with the presets of zero to nine if you're curious i am quite a fan of one which is bruz uh, i think it does a good job during the day and at night time. So there you go people, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.